Hi, my name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how I can create a copy uh, of an assembly like this one, uh, taking one of the parts with it and renaming it at the same time, but leaving all of the others as the original file. You'll find that when you go to the Save As menu, that you've got this option to include reference components. Now if you choose to turn that on, you can actually go to this advanced button and you can do a bit more advanced saving. Inside of here, if we were to select, uh, say, two of the parts at the same time, we could add a suffix or a prefix onto those at the same time. So if I just put in space in this box, I just put in space new uh, and click apply, you'll see that the item has changed its name. Okay, we can go in there and just edit that if you wanted to put in the space. Uh, and then you can actually choose if you wanted to save it in a different location as well. And you click browse. Okay, and we can browse through our machine to find exactly where we would like to put it. And I'll put it in this new assembly folder. And you'll see then that just turns, turns green as well. When you click save all, it just saves those two items that you've got in there and it will leave all the others as the original. And you see actually it's just opened up that file by default. But just to show you that it's worked, if I just go to the file menu and choose the option for find references, it will show me where all the files are going to open from. And in this example, you can see that it's updated that item, and it's also updated this item, but all of the others are opening from their original location. Thanks very much for watching.